Nice TV, well, lovely. Hi, I'm Shannon Williams, and we're out here every Saturday protesting Bush and his war for oil, the war that will cost this nation, many of its sons, and people <laughs> over the ocean, many of their women and children. We think it's about power and money, and that it will benefit a bunch of rich people that won't let it help any of the poor people. We think that that hundred million that could be used to kill people could better be used for health care, jobs, to help poverty, um, child care, education, any number of things that are wrong right here at home. I think it's going to take people talking about this at home, getting past the discomfort of having an unpopular opinion, uh, getting past this idea that being a good American is being pro-war. Being a good American is being able to talk about what this country is about and being able to not agree with your government but really stand up for the people that constitute the country. And that is the citizens that will not benefit from this war. One country under corporate domination, that's what uh, this symbolizes. And uh, all of these people standing on this corner is an attempt to take the country back from the corporations and uh, to let the government know that we're not going to uh, Iraq and we're not going to die for oil. And we don't want anyone else to die for oil. We don't want Iraqis to die for oil. We don't want Americans to die for oil. My name is Edith Bell. I'm working with the Thomas Merton Center and the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. And I'm a longtime activist, peace activist. I feel that uh, our current uh, regime does not uh, tell us why we have to go to war against Iraq. And that's why I'm here protesting the direction our government is going. And I find there are a lot of people who agree with me and I hope our government will listen to the people. and reconsider all the resources, the people uh, that will be sacrificed for a war. Us folks over here in Highland Park and East Liberty, we're opposed to this war, Dr. Richard. And we're out here every Saturday making our presence known to try to build some solidarity with the folks in the neighborhood and the people in the cars to let them know that they're not alone out there. People aren't isolated, and support for this war is very thin, and George Bush is on thin ice, and if he drops one bomb, there's going to be 500 people on this corner. Imagine the tables being turned and somebody coming over here and bombing the hell out of our capital to get one man. It doesn't make sense. Just does not make sense. War is wrong. Killing is wrong. And we are here to oppose it. Are you a mother? Of course I'm a mother. We're all mothers, we're all sisters, you're all brothers, you're all fathers. How do you feel about the fact that 50% of your tax, income tax, discretionary income tax, goes to past, present, and future wars? Well, it's, it's disgusting when we have economic problems at home, when we can't take care of our own. What's the sense in going and, and bombing the hell out of somebody else just to provide them with, with aid after? I mean, we all know how this game works, and I don't want it to happen. And none of us want this to happen. I'm an American. This is not my government. My government wouldn't do this. My government would hear the people. My government wouldn't be this maverick out on, the, on their own, doing what they feel is right. It's time to release this two-party system. This two-party is really blended into one. There's no difference between the Democrats and the Republicans anymore. I think we need to open the doors to let some new blood in there. You know, this is their party machines. That's all they are. The, whoever has the most money has the most power, and they win the game. We all saw that in the last election. I just like to say that I hope we can stop the war, but if we can't, I, you know, I just think it's important for everybody to speak out in their opposition and not, not go along with this quietly. But if it really is a democracy, I think the people could stop it because it's, it's not in the interest of most people. I don't know who the war is going to help, but it's really very few. It's not, certainly not the people of Iraq or the people of, of the United States. I think that Bush is taking this on as a personal thing, and I don't think he has a right to drag us all along with him. Is this revenge for Saddam Hussein trying to assassinate his daddy? I think that's part of it. Dissent? 
protects democracy. Do, do you think that we still have any kind of vestiges of democracy? I mean, we're out here. I think that we still do have some vestiges of democracy, but they're eroding, and I think we need to make sure that the erosion stops and that we go back to fuller democracy. There are many countries in the world where you can't demonstrate at all. So at least we're able to do this, and I think it's important that um, people that support the war effort also realize that these protests are important for all of us to protect our democracy. Child care, not bombs. Would you like to talk about your son? I actually okay, just borrowed it from good. someone, but I've dedicated my professional career to helping children in child care so that they get quality care. That's my life's profession right now, is working to improve the quality of child care. Unfortunately, child care in America is mediocre, where other countries dedicate thousands and millions of dollars for their youngest citizens. America would really spe rather spend its money on weapons of destruction, despite Bush's claim to leave no child behind. We are leaving millions of children behind. They don't have access to child care, their parents can't afford it, and millions of children who are even in child care do not have high quality child care. This is our next generation. We have to support it. Do you think that this is the real weapon of mass destruction? Absolutely. That we have so many resources in this country. We are using them inappropriately and using them against people who are less fortunate than us. We are the mass destroyers. It's hard for us to say, let us see your weapons when we won't show anyone ours and when we continue to build them at the rate we do at the sacrifice of millions of others. You speak truth to power. They call it revolution. Eugene Debs. Just talking about signs, the sign in Washington that said Bush, Rumsfeld, Cheney, warheads, and eliminate the warheads. We're here to stand for peace and uh, against war, and uh, there's no assurance that we will be able to avoid this war, but we sure as heck will do all we can uh, to stop it and to stop the uh, human casualties on all sides that a uh, possible war with Iraq uh, would inevitably cost and the destabilization of the world that it can cause and even there are unthinkables attached to this in terms of um, uh, flagration of world problems and world upheaval and a world war. I don't think we can discountenance that possibility. So it's an extremely dangerous moment, not just for us, but for all humanity, for the world. So that's why I'm here. I would like to say that uh, people need not be afraid to speak out, that there are many, many Americans who oppose the war and who would like an open debate question why this war and why now? And in particular, I'd like to know why uh, we did not help the Kurds when they asked for help many years ago, but now we're taking the moral high ground and saying that we are doing this for moral reasons when I'm quite sure it's for economic reasons. Thank you. Uh, we're just here to let everybody in Pittsburgh know that we really don't support Bush's aggression policies in the Middle East. And we really hope that people know that there's lots of people out there who would like to see a more peaceful world. Would Uncle Sam drive an SUV or would Uncle Sam drive a pad bus? He would drive this government insane. in our neighborhood Bush and Cheney not for me Iraq is not my enemy we want peace not war yeah 355 billion that's a shitload of money I really can't count that high but I know that's a shitload of money coming from Boston Massachusetts oh. Oh. what is what I'm from Boston Massachusetts
Syracuse. I drove here this morning at 12.30. Oh. It took me 13 hours. Oh. Thank you for coming to Pittsburgh! <laughs> yeah, you has got a yearning for peace or what? Nah, man, I don't gotta go. I just want to say I would like to see President Bush not start no wars with other countries when there's no real proof of foul play and that he's just cleaning up his, his father's mistakes from 10 years ago and everybody knows it. Okay, I have one question, perhaps you could answer it for me. Since they were all Saudis, why are we bombing Iraq? It, it's what they call a target of opportunity. Okay. It's a soft target, you know, and the, the thing is that all our money is tied up in Saudi Arabia. And if we bomb Saudi Arabia, it would be like bombing, you know, Halliburton. Yeah, it would be like bombing Dick Cheney, and we don't want to do that. Understand. Okay. Wasn't quite sure. I wanted you to clear that up for me. Thank you. Hey, Mike Stout, what do you have to say for yourself? I got to say, no more war. No more war. No more war. My name is Morgan Frank. I'm the owner of Intervision, and I'm totally against any invasion into Iraq. No more blood for oil. <laughs> if we go in there, then what? I mean, I think it's going to be a chain reaction. For what? I believe if they leave us alone, we should leave them alone. And I also think it's a smokescreen so that we won't pay attention to what's happening in our own country. Unemployment is skyrocketing. Any kind of services to the community are being slashed. Educational funds are being slashed. Health funds are being slashed. You know, there's a tax cuts for the rich, and it's just the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poor. And that's the only person money makes, war makes money for the rich. And it's all about the rich. But what happens to the working class? Well, we're paying for the, you know, we're funding the the means for the rich to get richer. Saddam Hussein is cooperating. I mean, as long as he is cooperating, I, I think we should give it a chance. And on top of it, um, the fact is they very well know what weapons he has because we sold them to him. Mm -hmm.